Hello, my name is Giancarlo Cacho. I will be presenting my pitch 2.0. Oh, pitch 2.0 is... Um, Over my show called The Long Shot. It's a basketball show. It's drama. And the general story is a young Hispanic male that attends uh, the University of Texas uh, at Austin. His dreams of walking on as a freshman for the Texas Longhorn basketball team. Um, he's a walk on, so he's not on scholarship. He's just a regular student um, that wants to be part of the team. Um, so he that is one part of the story. The next part is he has had a tough journey already making it into college, especially being the son of two Mexican immigrants. So this show, I want to highlight uh, Mexican culture and the difference between a Mexican-American and a Mex and Mexican culture. There is a difference from somebody from Mexico that comes to America and lives here than someone who is born in America but is raised in a Mexican uh, household, so or with Mexican heritage. Um, so that's something I want to highlight. It's a personal goal of mine to highlight. Um, the show will go through how the main protagonist goes through adjusting to being at UT Austin, which is a humongous school. Um, so a little fish, big pond kind of situation that he is dealing with and how he manages going to this predominant, this, you know, globally known school, managing the challenge and the the rigorous academics that um, UTS offers, managing school, social life, a job, and training to be a part of the basketball team. So the show structure will be a drama uh, with one hour episodes, 40, obviously like 44, 48 minutes of actual content. And the target audience is a coming of age, young adults, college students, and athletes. Um, I want this show to be authentic in the portrayal of basketball and how college basketball or just you know basketball in general is um I want to be authentic for real athletes to relate to the show and i want it to relate to preteens, teenagers coming up in high school and young college students um as you see there's teenagers there on the top of the screen and college students at the bottom right look older look like they're going to a lecture or something like that so i want to tap into that audience and i want it to you know show advertisers that you know there's an audience that uh, or there's customers there's consumers there that you know they're young they don't have a lot of money but they're loyal um, or they uh, you know want to try new things and they want to you know experience different brands or they want to stick with their brands you know like Nike, Adidas, Jordan that kind of deal, other iPhone stuff like that. It's different brands, different companies. So that's something I want to. Uh, I think that advertisers could be intrigued by um, with this show. And uh, to continue the storylines, the meat and potatoes of the show, uh, the main protagonist is an 18 year old Carlos Gomez from Floresville, Texas, close to San Antonio, where I'm from. Uh, Carlos was accepted to UT for his stellar grades, but was not offered an athletic scholarship for his performances on the court during high school. Carlos was offered multiple athletic scholarships during his time in high school for being a great basketball player. He had offers from TCU, UTSA, uh, Florida State University, and some other small Division I uh, programs. Uh, so he declined them all because his dream was always to be a Texas Longhorn. Now he's enrolled at UT Austin, but is not part of the basketball team. Carlos has made it his mission during his first semester to become a Texas Longhorn basketball player. So there is tryouts held in the fall semester. Um, the season starts towards the end of the fall semester and goes off in the beginning of the spring. So uh, that's his dream. He's training right now. Uh, he's starting school. It's a big, it's a big, uh, it's a lot of stuff going on for him. Um, so these are the main storylines of the main protagonist and uh, the general part of the story or the show. The main characters are obviously Carlos, um, you know, and his girlfriend, Emily Hernandez. She is a smart young woman. She is, um, uh, she portrays uh, strong women, independent women, women that are smart, that want to rule the world, uh, feminism, that kind of deal. She's a strong character. Next is Michael Puga, his best friend, who's a comedic relief kind of. He's a fun guy. He's your day one. They've been best friends since freshman year of high school. They're, they're, they're you know, best buds. And uh, 
you know, he, he also he's not the brightest, uh, not the sharpest tool in the shed. So he goes to a smaller school around Austin. And then next is his girlfriend, Courtney Brooks. She more portrays the more feminine, um, what men kind of see women or, you know, the culture sees women or a generalization of women as, you know, a sexy, attractive woman. And she also plays a part, um, or her character plays someone that's not, not loyal, or, or not, I wouldn't say not loyal, but, um, you know, she lives her life to the fullest. Uh, she takes a crack at Carlos, gets attracted to him, tries to get him, and, you know, tries to get involved with him, involved with other people, not very loyal, or not the best girlfriend to um, the best friend, Michael. Um, and that is another storyline that would be part of the show. And next is Jay Jackson, the trainer. His character is um, a wise character, a father figure, a mentor character to Carlos, but to the audience. He, he, uh, he just spews out wisdom. He's, he, he gets the message across and uh, he delivers it in a way that is um, digestible for the audience, but also you, you know, you learn something after watching the episode with him and after hearing him talk. Bo Wolf is the antagonist. So Carlos and Bo have a history together. They've been playing basketball since they were kids. They used to be friends. Um, and then they, uh, uh, Bo moved towards the bigger city in San Antonio. And they, you know, they battled each other in high school, sophomore year. Carlos got the state championship. Bo got the state championship their junior year, senior year. Um, uh, Carlos was able to win it, um, and Bo's team was not able to get to the championship that year. So Bo is very, you know, you know they kind of had a riff, um, a breakup in their friendship, and now they're um, bitter enemies. So that is something that people, you know, people like the villain, but also people will be like, you know, I like Carlos because, you know, he portrays good morals, and Bo is not, you know, Bo is the bad guy so those are some potential storylines and then how the characters connect is the story's main point is obviously the journey of carlos making the text long basketball team um but it's also following you know the lives of his girlfriend best friend his trainer antagonist uh you know supporting characters his mom his family um the other characters uh supporting the other supporting characters supporting characters it's a it's going to be there's a lot of potential for good storytelling with this show and the stories of each character will be connected in different types of ways. So uh, that kind of relates to a show that this is inspired off of, a One Tree Hill. Um, it's not going to be a copycat of it. I want this to be its own thing, the long shot, not One Tree Hill Part 2. Um, but yeah, um, it's going to follow different characters. Maybe one episode is Courtney going off on her adventures and how that connects with Carlos and his journey. Or how that connects with Emily and how that connects with... Um, all these uh, different uh, characters and the main story of Carlos becoming a member of the Longhorn basketball team. Um, so there's definitely different types, you know, for the trainer, his background, uh, flashbacks of Bo and Carlos as kids and how they became enemies today, you know, that kind of deal. So there's a, a lot of potential for great storytelling. And I think, uh, you know, the show has a, a great opportunity to be a, a solid performer um, and its own little thing. You know, I want it to be authentic to athletes. I want it to be inspiring to preteens and teenagers watching a coming of age and, you know, represent college kids well, and represent my culture, uh, the Mexican-American culture uh, and sports and basketball in general. I love basketball. So I want to you know to uh, represent those well and you know, be a, a great story so that includes my presentation i will go back and stop sharing um but thank you very much and i appreciate your time